Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to talk a little bit about water baths. So I've been experimenting with these on the CNC now for quite a while. And I've actually come up with a new version over here. But uh, one of the things I do is want to backtrack um, and talk about some of the older versions. So here's one of the first ones I set out with. And this is the one I believe I cut the glass and the mirror on. But one of the things many of you may have noticed that I had a hard time clamping things down with this. Um, so it was a little bit problematic. And, and again, I had these standoffs here. And I tried clamping things in between these washers. And it really didn't work out the greatest. I, I'm still going to probably utilize this for some things where if I can, you know, attach it down firmly, I think it's good. Uh, but outside of that, I had a few problems. And then also the rigidity of these stanchions, these 3D printed stanchions were a bit difficult. So that's where I went to this. And then I tried this where I took a plastic shoe box and I melted this through but one of the big problems I had was this cracking this stuff's very brittle and then I put a vise in here and then I use this to clamp down and pull the vise down to the table this sort of worked but it's really kind of kludgy and it's leaky and the other problem is there's no way to drain this so to put it in you have to kind of tip it up on its edge and so once it's full of water there's no way to get the water back out so it just makes a mess so what I've done is I've created a new version of this, of, of the water bath. Uh, so it's a little bit of a first, sec second phase, first generation. So many of you might have remembered, I bought this uh, vise off of eBay, which has these fingers, indexable fingers up here, which can move out. And so I have a stone in here. And, you know, that's part of what I want to do is cut stones and other strange objects, if you will. And I need to be held in here in the water, but also I want to be able to drain the water off. So I've added um, an outlet here, and I've taken a 3 8 inch um, uh, nylon um, kind of spigot end or a barb, hose barb, that's the word I'm looking for. Uh, and I spun off the threads so it inserted nicely into this opening and then just epoxied it in. I also epoxy coated all this and then I took, um, you see this is held in by uh, four nylon uh, bolts and there's uh, four nylon nuts which are countersunk into the plastic base because the plastic base is about this thick. You can maybe see this line right here. That's where the base ends. And so I countersunk those in. Now probably what I would do in the future is do more of an insertion so it pulls up against the plastic. They're epoxied in there because uh, the holes were a little bit small so I sanded it down the nylon nuts on the grinder and then inserted them epoxied over the top of them and then epoxied over top of that when I did the complete clear coat to seal this out because there were a couple areas in the corners that weren't quite watertight and again I wanted this to be pretty resilient. Now this has really got a firm lock into this uh, so this isn't going anywhere and also the nylon bolts are the size of the opening so there's doesn't allow any lateral movement so this is pretty tight and then what I can do is drain this into a bucket because I've got a, a 3 8 inch valve which I purchased on eBay and so uh, I just fill this up then I go to drain it into a bucket and then I can you know tip it out and then move this out so I'm really looking forward to experimenting with this now uh, part on the roadmap for this is I've got a much much larger one in the works because what I want to do is cut um, carbon fiber for quadcopters and the one thing that you don't want to do uh, is cut that in open air so you want to cut that in some kind of bath so it maintains the particle particle it's if i can spit that out i'm not sure i did that correctly but you get the idea uh particulates that's what i wanted to say it's getting late um and so it, it'll capture the particulates into the bath and then I'll be able to drain those off and dispose of them and there won't be an aspiration problem. And the same thing with the stone because one of the things, you know, the stone um, particulates can be very, very small and you don't want to aspirate those. So this is one of the reasons we want to do a water bath in addition to the cooling. So uh, um, I think I've been running the... Um, Time lapse of this printing. I printed this on the tarantula. It came out very nice. Did it in orange PLA. Uh, and again, I've set it up so this will clamp to the bed. So I put a washer on top and then just use quarter 20s to clamp this to the bed. 
and then I can run this out because one of the things I want to show is how to make uh, cabinet knobs out of stone. So just regular beach stones, that kind of stuff, and how you can mill them and machine them and that kind of stuff on the CNC. So I think there'll be kind of some interesting projects coming up with. But I just kind of wanted to share this kind of look back uh, at, at some of the previous water baths I've created in this new one and sort of the, the logic. Uh, if there's interest, I'll put this model up on Thingiverse. This is an OpenSCAD file. Uh, so I will probably put it out on my OpenSCAD site, um, probably by the time you've seen this. And if you want to get it, you can get it, and you can change the sizes, dimensions of it, and all that kind of stuff. And, and that's why I did it, actually, it's worth noting, too, in OpenSCAD, because I can make this bigger. I just got in the CR10 printer, which is a 12 by 12 inch printer. So I can make a pretty big water bath, much larger than this one, and put, you know, probably that larger vise you saw in that uh, kind of jury-rigged... Um, water bath this one here I can probably make um, uh, one almost big enough to fit this vice actually thinking about it on that printer so that's maybe what I'll do and I'll use this code to do it so anyways hopefully you found this interesting um, what I'm doing with the water bath so again kind of keep an eye out on the channel a lot of stuff's going to be coming on this on the CNC the 3040 coming up pretty soon uh, if you got any ideas or questions hey hit me up in the comments below uh, subscribe button's going to be coming up over there so if you're not a subscriber please subscribe helps the channel up again it'll be over there and uh, hey we'll see you in the next video cheers please click like below and subscribe to the channel